do you remember my Hoover Senior 652A that used to belong to my Aunt Janet that my grandparents fetched for me or had dropped off to theirs etc and I went and collected it's done it is pretty flipping clean even if I do say so myself and all I've really done is taken it apart give it a wash and a service and you know, the usual and put it back together it is that clean let's have a look My vacuum Kalina chums, how are you today? Yes, it's been a while since we've seen this thing. It's been right in the back of the loft, minding its own business. And I pulled it out after doing another Hoover Senior, the, the brown 1980s one. I thought, oh, we may as well do this as well. And yeah, I mean, the only real change to it I'm holding now, because it had a white flex on it originally, but it was broken sort of halfway down. And it was a cheap, modern replacement flex. And to be fair, this is a cheap, modern, re well, it's a modern replacement flex, I do believe. But it's braided, just like the original would have been. So since it needed one anyway, I chucked it on, and it seems to do all right. I then went and found... Because again, it had some modern shielded, you know, thing on, very modern plug on it. I went and found one of my nice MKs that sits in the drawer looking for a home. And yeah, I think it matches this cleaner perfectly. So yeah, that's about the only difference, really, really from when you saw it. There's only a couple of other things that have changed. One of them. Oh, carefully. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Quite rare these bags. One of them is we now have a Mila U bag fitted to our exhaust port, which is very good for filtration, very bad for bag inflation because annoyingly, you know, the air passes through it too quickly. It can't inflate inside the bag. So it never looks like it's on when it is, which is just one of the caveats, I think, of doing that bodge. Second is all of this was loose. That bracket there, the handle, the cord hook, etc. So it's, it's, got, it's got a bit of Q bond in there, not doing anything else other than just stopping that rattling around like crazy and ultimately causing damage because, yeah, it's riveted on. There's not a lot we can do. Oh, what we can do is we'll take off the bag so that we can pop it out of the way. Oh, the bag bellows isn't original Hoover. That's been changed as well, but I, I kept that because it worked fine. Let's have a look underneath, which looks very clean indeed. Yep, yeah, again, just the wash, polished with a bit of Sith, etc. We have it as it was. Well, I got it. The wheels have been oiled. Oh, we have the same belt it came with, the same brushes, because they're a bit low, but also they're quite stiff, and I reckon they might be okay. We'll have to check. We'll have to have a look. And yeah, literally. Well, with my equipment decided that that soon had to end, we plugged it in, we turned it on. Let's wait no more. It won't explode now. Because there's no suppressor fitted, Now it does make that rather weird sound on the wind down and it's got brand new brush roll bearings in 
that is literally the only thing bar the cable that I put in it and eh, who knows I, I, I might have them packed out wrong they might just not like the time of day the belt could be loose I don't know the fact that it runs so well in use I just haven't cared I think I'll just use it until something breaks and then well I'll know what it is and we can fix it so yeah it's amazing really it's excellent it's so good that I was cleaning some floor tools earlier and found a significant amount of fluff so I thought we would try and see if this can pick all that out of this thick rug. Okay, we're keeping it this because A, it's taking forever, B, the bird keeps trying to land on it. So yeah, we have genuine floor tool fluff, uh, some crushed Weetabix and some rice. <laughs> belt line of shame but hey you sort of expect that on these things that was amazing we've got to get the rest of it up cool really I mean there's still bits of shattered and whole rice everywhere but you know Hoover's Hoover Seniors Hoover Juniors Dirty Fans never do that well with the old rice picker but all the fluff went up a treat so yes very nice indeed but that is not everything oh no because I have here and here, although these aren't as exciting because these are just bog standard ones, we have a hose with this end on it. We have ourselves a tool adapter. Then we have the oblong dusting brush, the round dusting brush, a very nice crevice tool, the blower attachment. The floor brush, which is actually quite fancy because it's got like angled bristles on it. And an upholstery tool with the rubber nipples. Yes, we have ourselves a complete toolkit for our Hoover Senior. So what we have to do is turn her upside down, take our pan converter, it's not even a pan converter, it's like a blade converter. It, it, it goes around. Oh, look at this. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go. Fitted. That is now our Hoover Senior converted to tool use. <laughs> got the two-speed switch in play as well. Now, 
One thing I actually wanted to do on this, and we can do this now because I've just smelt it as well. These tools off aren't fab on the belt. If we take this off, and in fact you can see that this is the best of three that I've got, and I've already had to, yeah, oh, there, there it is, look, glue it together. Because where it goes on, like such, it goes, I even show you this. Oh, what was that? A bit of metal just fell out. It goes over and around the belt spindle. Oh, this is terrible. You probably get the idea. It goes around the belt spindle, and it's the belt rubbing on it that's causing it to do its thing. I also want to see whether the motor makes that sound or the brush roll. And we can listen to the two speed switch. Are we ready? <laughs> So it is something in our brush roll then. There's a little bit of stuff in there. Who knows? Either way, that'll do. And we're going to leave it like that. In fact, we'll put the base plate back on. Oh, no, we won't. Ah, I'll leave the belt off, really, because it will save it digging into the carpet. We'll just leave it stood there, and when something bad happens, we can say we told you so. Yes, we can now take our hose and fit it to here. If you've never seen this before, yes, that is how these Hoover Senior tools converted and fitted. And I mean, oh, over here I have perhaps the worst example. And you know, I could, oops, and that's what happens. This is the worst one I have. And it, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's broken. That's held in by that, the pit fit. And it's all bent. It's all cracked and it's very much worn away. I mean, I'm still going to you know, see if anybody wants this and give it a home. Because, that's it. Look. Because, you know, they are very rare. <laughs> Flipping rare. Very rare. Well. Obviously, they all got trash. Or the senior didn't come with the tools and therefore they never had them in the first place. Or if it did, they never used them. <laughs> But it's not fantastic. I mean, let's do some above floor cleaning with our Hoover Senior. I mean, say your pet or loved one made a horrendous mess when they were trying to eat. Yes, you have to. And you know, you needed to clean it up. You could spend the half an hour finding your tools, putting them on, trying not to break the adapter in the first place, and then, yeah, you could clean it up. Also, technically turns it into a hard floor cleaner. Well, yeah, if you're feeling particularly brave, you can put the wands on and this you know, swivel action, oh, hard floor tool, and pick up your dirt. <laughs> amazed it did that at all, let alone as well as it did. And we'll come over to the least surprising part, which is probably going to be the state of this machine underneath. I can already see rice falling everywhere, so we'll take off the tool thing. Oh, 
tip it upside down and yeah rice is just cascading out I mean it's, it's done all right but yeah this was fine for fluffing and dusting and doing your helmets and etc but yeah I also don't think it thoroughly likes being run without a belt because the motor will be running just a little bit too fast so we'll pop that back on as well Oof. Ah. there we go and I suppose we better clean up this little mess as well any excuse eh Vacuuming is done. Now we have just one more thing to do, don't we? Oh, you can't imagine this ever happened. We're going to unzip our bag and then you have to remove it. Oh gosh, it's going to be dirt falling everywhere. I wonder if I can pick, there we go, look, hold it upside down. Oh, there we go. Because this will want to go in the bin anyway. Crikey, look. There's all of our fluff and dust and dirt and of course because it's uh, you know th these are only the cheap ones you don't need big expensive ones for these it is mint and the bag is mint and that is why we have this and obviously now we could demonstrate this which is not a pattern pass i was a little bit fearful it was but it's not although i've lost it now where is it there it is there's the h12 printed on it and every genuine hoover part will have h1-2 or h2-2 etc printed on it and that sits on there and then you can take your hose i mean you can actually fit this hose either way you could fit it this way look and just have a straight end here but that is stupid we'll fit it the proper way before the hoover police come round and i won't point it at the camera flying absolutely everywhere but more annoyingly these bellows have just come off of, have just come off of here that's that's annoying let's put these but obviously all the weight is pulling down on them and that's not great especially after like 70 years the well 50 years in these case the bellows have developed a natural bend oh my goodness take this off have developed a natural bend anyway and it only slips over here there's no retaining ring on this area of senior that's it oh pop it back on <laughs> yeah i can't imagine anybody who's ever used this blowing attachment before if you have comment down below this is literally the first i've seen and even i thought it was a pattern thing until i saw that yeah you, you really do fit it to your bellows and the hose restricts it quite a lot actually but yeah there we go 100% home cleaning solutions so there we go the whole shebang I am very lucky proud grateful etc to own this, I mean, you know, my aunt could have just chucked it in the bin as any old Hoover was, it was found in the loft, remember? Came with that Power 4000 and was it a 612? Can't remember now. That's why this has hung around for so long, because I knew that I'd be keeping it. It is absolutely beautiful. The paintwork is fantastic. If I ever want to get custom paint made, this is going to be the machine that I take in. I mean, the camera won't pick it up. It's a greeny sort of shade. I haven't even buff the hood it's just been sift i thought yeah, i'll save the buffing for another day and it has its complete toolkit as well not that that will probably do 
much more than just sit in the bag. <laughs> Be nice for the photographs. Although, hey, do comment down below. Have you ever used a Hoover Senior with its tools? And if so, what did you think? This isn't too bad. I would probably compare it to the pneumatic Quick on low, or you know, a very good turbo power. Turbo Master is perhaps a bit more powerful than this, but you know, it did the job back in the day. This was your tools, and they are so rare to find now. I'm very pleased to have a complete set and a working pan converter. So yes, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.